In this video, I will be showing you a few different ways to play your friends' Steam shared games while they are also playing a game from their own library. The simplest way is to ask your friend to go offline on their account before they launch their game. This means that both you and they can play a game from the same library. This won't work if your friend is playing an online game though, as most Steam games require you to have Steam connected to the internet in order to play online. There are however some exceptions, such as Golf with your friends, which I often play online with a friend who is at the same time borrowing it from my own library. The reason that you can't just go offline and then launch your friend's game is that Steam prevents you from using a friend's library while in offline mode. The next thing you can do is start a game and then turn off your internet connection. Either turn off your Wi-Fi or unplug your ethernet cable. This still isn't perfect, as it means you can't play a friend's game online if they are also playing a game. It is important to note that after starting a game and then turning off the internet, while Steam is showing the no connection message, you can restart the game, or start any other game from any friend's library, and it will launch. This allows you to restart a game if the game crashes, or if you want to close the game and restart for any reason, or if you just wanted to play a different game. Even if you can't play a game online, you still may want to play a game while connected to the internet with your PC. If you want to stream or chat to people over the internet while also playing a game, then you'll need your PC to be connected to the internet. The next method will require you to have two internet connections, one for staying connected to the internet, and one that you can turn off so that Steam has no connection to it. I'm using Wi-Fi and Ethernet, but I could also choose to use my 5GHz band and 2GHz band Wi-Fi. You'll first want to download Forcebind IP and take note of where it is installed. Close Steam and connect to the form of internet that you'll be turning off later. Go to your network and sharing centre and find out what the IP of that connection is by clicking the details button. Open a command prompt and type cd and then the path to force bind IP. Following this, type forcebindip.exe followed by the IP address of the connection you're using for Steam and then the path to the steam.exe. Launch your friend's game and then turn off the internet connection that Steam is connected to. In my case, I'm turning off the Wi-Fi. Again, using this method, you won't be able to connect to the internet with any Steam games that require Steam to be online to work. However, you'll still be able to stream these games and use your internet connection on your PC for anything else you want to do while playing. 